I mean, well, family, friends, and well wishes have converged on Amoli Lagos to honor engineer Kayote Irikitola on the occasion of his 80th birthday and to partake in a thanksgiving to Almighty Allah. In an interview with Plus TV News, engineer Irikitola conveyed his profound appreciation to God who provided support during his critical illness when he was hospitalized in the in intensive care unit which is the ICU, and he expressed his gratitude for being alive today. Plus, TV correspondent Lovo Yedokun tells us more in this report. Reaching the age of 80 is a remarkable milestone, so much that family, friends, and well-wishers gathered to celebrate the 80th birthday of a man whose life exemplified dedication innovation and love. Dressed in white, the celebration began with Muslim prayers and supplications to the Almighty. <laughs> Kayode Irikitola's engineering expertise has significantly influenced the field, while his wisdom and kindness have also profoundly impacted the life of those around him. It's been a life of uh, thank faithfulness, God's faithfulness. We are born the same year, 1944. And only three of us are 80 years on this street. I am number one, Arrest number two, and Rictolai number three. See the caliber of people that turned up, you know, to celebrate him. Schoolmates from 1959 to 63 sets. So they've been in the game for over 60 years. So to the glory of God, we're also aspiring to live long in good health. We wish him many more years in improved health. Family and friends shared hard Fred's tributes that celebrated engineer Eric Tola's roles as a devoted husband, caring father, and adoring grandfather. Actually, him being alive today is a miracle because he had, I think he had 1% chance when he was taken into the ICU. We didn't really expect he was going to make it. But we left everything we got. We spent so much. We, no, we spent a lot of money. But at that point in time, money couldn't do anything because all hope was left on God. He went through surgeries, three surgeries, laminectomy, bed, bed removal, and plastic surgery. And you know, even the last one, the plastic surgery, was done exactly two years today that he was marking his 70th, 78th birthday. So it was as if, well, do whatever you want, God. But when he woke up, it was me, his office. When he was going, it was me, his last. So to God be the glory. And we are grateful. What I just want to say is that as the Lord has spared his life to see this 80, he will still see some more years to the glory of the Lord in good health. And the Lord will raise him up. He will not be on that wheelchair for too long. Expressing his dissatisfaction with Nigeria's current state of affairs, engineer Eric Tola urged Nigerians to speak truth to those in power, emphasizing that a nation must take this approach to overcome its present challenges. Nigeria is difficult these days. Nigeria is difficult. What do you want to say of an organization like the power generating of, uh, uh, companies waking up and making tariff 300 times or more than 300 times. Do they want to kill us? Do they want to kill us? We have every cause to look at ourselves in the face and say, please say the truth. Surrounded by his family, friends, and well wishers, engineer K.M. Irikitola cut his birthday cake. Here is to many more years of joy, love, and inspiration. Happy birthday. Love Oyedukun, Plus TV News.
Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.